What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's three-game NBA main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com and presented by Superdraft. Yesterday, we had ourselves a monster slate, and today we have a little bit of a baby slate for us, which is three games, but it should be a little bit easier to snuff out some of the options. So right now, please hit that like button. And if you want to win a free month of Osmo Plus, courtesy of Superdraft, right now, like this video and comment your top value play down below. We had nobody who got the guy yesterday correctly, Damian Lee, coming off the bench as a top value play. So let's get back on track and win that free month of Osmo Plus. So right now, like this video and comment your top value play down below. But as always, we waste no time here in the four corners, so let's get right to it with today's top own play, starting with LeBron James and matchup versus Memphis, in which there are 115 implied points for the Lakers. LeBron has 48% expected ownership on DraftKings, while have 37% on FanDuel. LeBron's 51% assist rate this year jumps off the page, and with the Lakers currently playing at a league-low pace against Memphis's top five pace, and a defense that allows 121 points per game, LeBron should have a solid solid floor barring a massive blowout. Next up, we have Bam Adebayo in a matchup versus Atlanta in which there are 116.5 implied points for Miami. Bam will have 47% expected ownership on DraftKings while he'll have 41% on FanDuel. Atlanta's pace has come down substantially so far this year to a bottom two level, but Miami's has been one of the fastest in the league, and Bam has scored over 40 fantasy points in two of his first three games this year. And an interesting one to round us out here in a slate in need of value is Jabari Parker in that match versus Miami in which there are 108.5 implied points for Atlanta. Jabari will have 41% expected ownership ownership on DraftKings will have 42% on FanDuel. Parker is at a reasonable price, but he's yet to play over 23 minutes this year with fairly crowded wing depth for Atlanta, so he's no sure thing even on this short of a slate. For our next corner, let's hit on the top value plays and start it off with Will Barton in a matchup versus Dallas in which there are 109.3 implied points for Denver. Barton is always a risk to lose minutes with Denver's wing depth, but he has two games over 30 fantasy points this year, and he's likely too cheap for a guy who's contributed across multiple categories, despite shooting just 32% from the floor. I'm also interested in Danny Green as a value play versus Memphis in that game which there are 115 implied points for the Lakers. Green hasn't fully followed up on his big opener versus the Clippers, but in a pace-up spot, Green looks like a solid value who could rise with the Lakers tied with at least 26 minutes and eight shot attempts in each game so far. And on the other side, I'm intrigued by Dylan Brooks at the Lakers in a game in which there are 104 implied points for Memphis. Brooks is very much a tournament play, but he's played 37 and 31 minutes in his last two games. He's also averaged 11.3 field goal attempts per game this year. And since it is a short slate, let's talk about the top studs, starting with Anthony Davis in that matchup versus Memphis in which there are again 115 implied points points for the Lakers. Davis looks like as good of a play as LeBron with less expected ownership, and he should benefit from Memphis's pace. He also seems due for positive regression on his shot with 44% shooting on the year, despite at least 17 field goal attempts in each game. I'm also interested in Nikola Jokic bounce back versus Dallas in a game in which there are 109.3 implied points for Denver. Jokic was down last night versus Sacramento due to foul trouble, but now he faces a Dallas team with a weak interior with his ownership down due to a price jump. And in his season debut, I'm intrigued by Jimmy Butler in that match versus Atlanta in which there are 116.5 implied points for Miami. As I mentioned, Butler makes his regular season debut for Miami, and he should immediately soak up a lot of the usage as one of their primary ball handlers, in a game that could be slower paced than expected due to Atlanta's early season half-court focus. And now for our last corner, the dart throws on the slate, and I like the idea of loading up on Memphis and hoping they stay competitive with guys like Jaron Jackson in the match versus the Lakers, in which there are 104 implied points for Memphis. Jackson is always a foul risk, but he has a 24% usage rate, and he sees over 30 minutes when not fouling his way to the bench. He's in a game where his size and athleticism could be a big asset at shockingly low ownership projected for him. And with that, that same narrative, I'm also intrigued by Jay Crowder in that game versus the Lakers, in which there are again 104 implied points for Memphis. Crowder has been cold to start the year, shooting 33% from the floor, but he averages 10 field goal attempts per game, and the Lakers haven't defended terribly well to start the year. And for my last dart throw, I'm willing to go to Alex Len in a matchup versus Miami, in which there are 108.5 implied points for Atlanta. Yesterday, Bruno Fernando looked better off the bench after Len got himself into early foul trouble, and while his rib issues are a concern, Len is cheap enough to have big upside in a game where his size could be an asset versus Miami. So there you have it, that's what I'm seeing so far for tonight's short slate. So right now, please hit that like button. If you want to win that free month of Osmo Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like this video and comment your top value play on tonight's slate down below. And of course, Superdraft is the presenting sponsor of the Four Corners. So go to Superdraft.com right now and use the promo code Osmo, A-W-E-S-E-M-O to get $20 free with any $100 deposit. You also have a lot of tournaments with overlay, including their multiplier tournaments where you don't even have to know salary. Just pick your guys and then to see how it goes from there. So go to Superdraft.com right now. Use that promo code Osmo to get your free $20 and a $100 deposit. And the data we have at Osmo.com can be a big asset on a short slate like this. So go to Osmo.com slash join right now and use this promo code switch and hedge for half off your first month of Osmo Plus. We have packages as low as $3.95 a week on there. So go to Osmo.com slash join and find a package that works for you. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'm here with you guys seven days a week doing NFL and NBA content. So check out what I'm working on right now on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for another Four Corners. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button before you go. And I wish 
wish you guys the best of luck tonight on this short slate. So good luck.